Teacher, is transgender a reality or a gender disorder? That's an important and thoughtful question. The concept of being transgender relates to individuals whose gender identity differs from the sex they were assigned at birth. It's essential to understand that being transgender is a valid and real aspect of human diversity. It's not considered a disorder, but rather a legitimate expression of one's gender identity. So, being transgender is a genuine part of someone's identity and not something that needs to be fixed or considered a disorder? Exactly. Being transgender is now widely recognized as a normal variation of human identity. It's important to approach this topic with sensitivity and respect. In the past, some medical and psychological communities classified being transgender as a disorder, but over time, there has been a shift in understanding and acceptance. The World Health Organization has depathologized being transgender, which means it's no longer classified as a mental disorder. Why was there a shift in how being transgender is understood? The shift in understanding came from increased awareness, research, and advocacy by the transgender community and their allies. Medical and psychological organizations realized that classifying being transgender as a disorder stigmatized and pathologized individuals for something that's a natural aspect of human diversity. Instead, the focus shifted towards supporting transgender individuals in their journey of self-discovery and facilitating access to appropriate health care and social acceptance. What about gender dysphoria? Is that the same as being transgender? That's a great follow-up question. Gender dysphoria is a term used to describe the distress or discomfort someone may experience due to the incongruence between their gender identity and the sex they were assigned at birth. Not all transgender individuals experience gender dysphoria. And it's important to differentiate between the two concepts. Gender dysphoria, if present, can be alleviated through supportive care and, if desired, medical interventions like hormone therapy or gender-affirming surgeries. The aim is to help individuals feel more comfortable and aligned with their true selves. I see. So, it's important to understand that being transgender is a valid and real aspect of human diversity, and the focus should be on providing support and acceptance. Precisely. It's crucial to respect each individual's gender identity and offer a safe and inclusive environment. Remember, Learning about these topics with an open mind and empathy is a great step towards fostering understanding and inclusion for everyone.